Welcome to Larry's Topics. Today we are going to discuss vampires. And the undying question I don't think anyone's ever really asked. Why is it vampires can be old as dirt and yet they can fit in with our kind? Hmm. Well, stop and think about it, right? Five, six, seven hundred year old vampires. How is it they're still beautiful and entrancing and that? Simple. And it upsets me nobody else has covered this that I know of. And that's because. All right, step think. You look at pictures of. Jesse James, William H. Bonney, and women from the 1920s and 30s. All right? That's just to give you a gist of it. Compared to now, not being a jerk, but they're not good looking. They're actually quite unattractive. All right? Call it a vampire for five, six hundred years fit into our society. So much so we wouldn't notice. Well, that's easy to answer. If vampires were real, in order for them to fit in, they would go through a shedding process, like snakes and that. I'd say every 50, 60 years. Their skin will start to tighten. Their movements will be restricted physically because of this process. Why? Because their skin is shedding to unveil a similar but newer form. That is how vampires are able to fit in with society. Give or take every 50, 60 years, a vampire sheds its skin. You look at snakes and that, that do it. Yeah, they look different, but eventually they still look similar. Just more modernized. How is that possible? Look at snakes and other animals. They shed their skins to grow into the size of their habitat. Right? Now imagine if you're a creature that has to shed your skin to match up with the new passing age of beauty. And that's what vampires do. It's a virus. It's not... If you There's two types of vampires. There's the demonic vampires and there's the vampires that are a form of virus. The demonic vampires can't walk in sunlight because the sun is the face of God, according to biblical sense. I make my face to shine down upon thee. Right there, says it. Those without souls shall perish in my sight. Well, you're a vampire of demonic origin, so the sun's going to barbecue you, right? But a viral vampire doesn't apply to the same rules. It takes three, it takes 24 to four, 72 hours for incubation time. And during that time, you go through slight physical alterations, right? So you're, you look like modern times, you become a vampire. So what does the vampire do? The virus. It amplifies your natural physical traits 
to a more attractive level. You look like you did, but more appealing. Right? Vampire, I'm assuming, would go through this transformation every four, or every 50 to 60 years. They do this to fit in with society. Alright? You look like this a certain way for about 30, 40 years. 50 tops. And then you go through a molting season. It doesn't last, but maybe a week to two weeks tops. Mm, leaning towards a week. And what happens is your old skin and hair and that begin to solidify to the point it's like uh, a plaster overlay, you know, your arm, your skin becomes so tight because the moisture is dropped out of it that you begin to start breaking down this old form. And when it happens, your hair become what you what looks like it's becoming brittle and weak is actually just flaking. And then your skin becomes tight, stiff and dry. And you reach the point you're like a stiff statue, but your strength lets you move to where your fake, your past skin becomes like a powdery flake and falls off. And you take a, sh they take a shower for it to fall off. To, wa you know, wash away dirt and debris and that. But while it's flaking, it becomes... It, because it can't remain, it becomes very fine and very fragile, but still hard to the point that you have to use wire brush or brushes to scrub your skin, scrub your hair, and then it falls onto the floor in a clop of goop. But because it's so brittle in that, water and that breaks it down so vivaciously and quickly even though it's caked on to you that you do need some kind of aid of brush bristle brushes and that that to get it out of your off of you that but when it hits the floor and it's no longer on you it's like a powder so it easily washes down the drain. And that's how vampires. Can. Blend in with our society. Because they shed. And because. Physically there's not supposed to be any physical. Remnants of them behind. That it when it. When they shed and it hits the floor and gets induced to water, it becomes grain, finer and grainier than sand, so it easily washes down the drain. Come on, you haven't watched uh, movies and that and not wonder how the vampire was able to fit in even hundreds of years later without thinking of this. Yes, they will look like themselves, but a more elegant, attractive way. This is Larry's Topics. Have a good day, stay well, God bless, and subscribe.